actually uh, answer questions in the chat. So ask any questions and I'll answer them. But um, we're gonna get into this. We're gonna get into talking to. Um, we're gonna get into talking about Jake Paul. Uh, because Jake Paul is. He's doing it for attention. He's doing it for money. I mean, hey, the guy's the guy's smart at making money. You gotta give him that. But right now, Jake Paul. Let's be honest. If he were to fight Conor McGregor in a boxing match, which I don't think he will, because you know, first of all, Conor McGregor and Jake Paul are separate weight classes, and I, Jake Paul's a bit too heavy for, um, yeah, fifty million dollars it was, uh, not fifty k, fifty million, um. So he, the weight classes are different, and let's be honest, Conor McGregor, he wanted to prove that he was the best defensive boxer in uh, boxing history. One of my good friends, uh, one of my good friends mentioned that as well. I wish he was in this live right now. Uh, I would have him in this live to talk about it with him. But he wanted to, um, he wanted to prove that he was the best defensive boxer. He fought the best boxer in the world, in Floyd Mayweather. Jake Paul wants to go up against Conor McGregor. Now, if this is a if they decide to do something dumb like a kickboxing match or like a MMA match, that will be completely dumb. That'll be you know that'll affect Jake Paul's health at that point, uh, because Jake Paul just wouldn't be healthy at that point because Conor McGregor we know he's an animal in the octagon, and plus Conor McGregor is focused on the lightweight division this year and upcoming in 2021. He wants to, uh, you know, win a championship in the lightweight division. He's focused on that right now. That's what I'm hearing from Conor McGregor. Um, Jake Paul has been stooping low, you know, uh, following Conor McGregor's wife and uh, following Dylan Dennis's girlfriend. Now, Dylan Dennis and Jake Paul could happen. Uh, I can see Dylan Dennis, you know, like, okay, Conor McGregor is busy right now. Let me, uh, you know, defend for Conor McGregor. I could definitely see that happening. But Jake Paul, he's doing it strictly for attention. He's doing it strictly for the money. Uh, he wants to get paid. He's already getting paid enough. He's getting paid from boxing. He's getting paid from merch. He's getting paid from YouTube. He's getting all sorts of income coming in, and he still wants more money. A $50 million fight, I mean, I don't even think Conor McGregor will take it. Conor McGregor has enough money. I don't think he'll take a $50 million fight, even though it's, I, I believe it is the biggest fight offer he's had in his whole career. I don't think he's going to want to fight a YouTuber, some YouTuber that just, you know, is now coming up into boxing. You know, Jake Paul, he's taking boxing seriously, but to go up against a guy like Flo um, Conor McGregor, sorry, it's uh, it's ridiculous, to be honest. So, uh, for me, this is a dumb decision for Jake Paul. This is what he's doing right now is just for attention, I feel. So, and on Logan Paul's side, fight, fighting Floyd Mayweather, I think that's just dumb. I think it's dumb to fight Floyd Mayweather, even though they're getting paid a lot of money. They're both gonna get paid a lot of money. They're gonna make over, you know, I think over like a uh, hundred mil on this fight. That's a lot of money. Win or lose for either of them, they're gonna get paid. So Logan Paul can get knocked out and he's still gonna get money. And same with Floyd Mayweather. I think that's why he took this fight because you know maybe he got bored. This guy, tra this is the guy that travels the world when he's bored. That's how rich he is. So he's doing this fight. He's gonna get more money. He's gonna get paid. And that's what you're going to get from fighting these YouTubers. You're going to get money because these YouTubers are box office. These guys get the cr these guys get people in the seats, even though they can't really have packed arenas right now. These guys get pay-per-view. Uh, these guys sell pay-per-views sometimes more than boxers right now. You know, guys like Titan Fury, Deontay Wilder, those guys will set, sell pay-per-views. But right now, YouTubers are looking like it's taking over the boxing world right now. And um, they're doing this strictly for money, I feel. You know, they talk about how much they love the sport, but I feel like they're doing this for money at this point. Uh, because fighting Floyd Mayweather, let's be honest, Logan Paul's, if Floyd Mayweather's trying, which is probably nice, he's probably going to fool around with him a couple rounds and then knock him out. Floyd May Mayweather's probably going to knock Logan Paul out. And then if Jake Paul fights Dylan Dennis or Conor McGregor, it doesn't matter who, he's going to get beat anyway. So I feel like they're doing this strictly for money. I feel like they don't care about their health. Uh, Conor McGregor, I'm pretty sure at this point he's heard uh, what Jake Paul has been doing. Uh, and I, Conor McGregor, I'm sure, is not worried at all about Jake Paul. He's more focused on Dustin Poirier uh, in, in January on the pay-per-view. So I don't see these fights happening. Maybe Dylan Dennis. 
Uh, but Jake Paul, you got to take into account that he hasn't fought anybody, you know, taller than him, his size, or like a, a boxer that has experience. He fought a Nissan Gabe, who's another YouTuber. He fought Nate Robinson, who's a basketball player, right? And then he fought uh, Deji, Comedy Shorts Gamer, who was just getting into boxing, right? And Jake Paul has gotten so much better from that from then. So he's got to fight somebody better. He's got to fight an elite boxer, I feel. Uh, he has in his uh, bio the future of boxing. I highly disagree with that. But um, we got to see, man. Uh, Jake Paul, he's doing this strictly for money, I feel. So uh, this is it's, ridic it's ridiculous what Jake Paul's doing. Um, a lot of people are asking me to speak on this, and I'm speaking on it right now. Uh, it's 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 ridiculous. It's you know it's not making me mad. I get it. He's you know he's great at making money. But uh, let's be honest, and if he gets in the ring with any of these guys, he's going to get knocked out uh, because of the way, you know, he pulled up on Dylan Dennis, threw uh, water balloons at him uh, and toilet paper at him. Uh, you know, that's not going to be, you know, even Dylan Dennis looked like he was laughing. He looked like he was mad as well. I might see, have, I might see that fight happening, uh, but that's it, really. Uh, I don't know who else he, I forgot who else he called out, but um, yeah, he, he's also calling out Nate Diaz, which is... Uh, it's just dumb. Uh, I don't know why he's calling out these guys. Like I said, it's probably just for money. But these guys, they're they're acting like you know they're really the future of boxing, which they're really not. This is not smart. I continuously to continuously say this. This is not smart on the part of Jake Paul, Logan Paul. I get it. They're getting money. They're getting paid. But right now, it's um, for me, it's it's dumb. It's dumb because for me, I I think you gotta focus on your health. Because I'm, it sounds like I'm joking around, but I'm being serious. Like, if Jake Paul were to step into the ring, even a boxing ring, with Conor McGregor, he would lose a few brain cells if Conor McGregor is really trying and he's really mad. Same thing with Logan Paul stepping into the ring with Floyd Mayweather. He would get knocked out and lose a few brain cells, maybe a few teeth, right? Because it's a pro boxing fight. They're not wearing headgear. It's a pro boxing fight. Jake Paul pointed out he's 2-0 in the boxing world and Conor McGregor's 0-1. Conor McGregor fought the best fighter in the world in Floyd Mayweather. What did you expect? We all expected Conor McGregor to lose that fight. We expect, you know, Floyd Mayweather stepped in the octagon, Conor McGregor would win. I've, I'm pretty sure we agree with that because Conor McGregor has this kicking there. In either world, boxing or uh, the MMA, or MMA uh, Conor McGregor would win. Jake Paul hasn't fought any competition whatsoever in the pro boxing world. And Nissan Gabe was no competition. No disrespect to him. And then Nate Robinson, like I just mentioned, there's no competition. He he it didn't look like he had any defensive training. So um Jake Paul's gotta fight at least somebody a bit better before I can say, you know, maybe he should fight Dylan Dennis or these guys. Uh but that's gonna take a lot. So uh Jake Paul is I feel like he's just doing this strictly for money because let's be honest, I, I don't think he really thinks he could beat Conor McGregor because that is just insane for him to think that it's just blasphemous for him to say that he can beat Conor McGregor or Nate Diaz or Dylan Dennis because these are guys who really do this these are guys that really take the sport seriously that have been training since they've been four years old I get it Jake Paul has a wrestling background I get it Jake Paul's been training for years now but so have these guys these guys have been training since they were little kids these guys really like take this seriously they don't care about the money especially conor mcgregor i i know he sometimes cares about the money but he cares about knocking people out you don't get paid by the fight you get paid uh you don't get paid by the um minute sorry you get paid by the fight so uh conor mcgregor if he were to step in the ring with jake paul he would knock him out period so i don't think this is um this is a smart idea for uh jake paul I get it. They're get it. They're getting paid, but it's not smart at all. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask. Um, I'll answer them. I'll answer them. I know I don't uh, during the week, except for Fridays. We don't uh, usually answer a lot of questions on the podcast, but um, right now I'll answer you guys' questions. Uh, especially about this topic, because that's what I'm talking about right now. Um, yeah, so I, I don't think this is a good idea at all. Uh, so that's how I feel. Uh, and 
that it, it, that's how, that's what I think would happen if Jake Paul would step in the ring with any of these guys. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick live video, uh, just to um, you know talk about this uh, stuff going on with Jake Paul. So uh, I'm, I'm happy I finally addressed it because people have been asking me a lot of questions. Um, unfortunately, no, like not a lot of people were in here to uh, hear me address the situation. But uh, if Instagram lets me download this video, I'm probably gonna upload it to YouTube. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, my thoughts and opinions on this Jake Paul situation. Uh, I thought I thought that the podcast was gonna be last time I was seeing you guys, but this time for the day it's gonna be last time. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, like I said, um, if you guys have any questions about Jake Paul right now. Um, comment them. I'll give you guys a couple minutes. Um, Dave, do you actually want to be in the in the live, or did you just request just a request? Because um, I'm talking about Jake Paul right now. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think this unless you guys have any other questions, then uh, I'll end the live. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'll give you guys a couple minutes because I know Instagram takes time for. Like, you know, the comments to, you know, go through. Uh, oh, mistake? All right. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you guys a couple of minutes. But, um, yeah, that's all I really have to say um, about Jake Paul. It's it's ridiculous. Um, so for those of you wondering, the podcast is over. The podcast was over, um, like, about half an hour ago now. Uh, a little less than that, actually. It was, But it, the podcast is over. Uh, I thought that was going to be the last time I'll see you guys, but... Uh, I just saw that Jake Paul pulled up on Dylan Dennis, so I had to address that uh, because more people were asking questions about it, and uh, 